In this section, uh, we are going to uh, see how to install the integrated development environment. Just click the link. So I have created the logging. So I'm going to use the the login which I have already created. So if you don't have one, you just create it. It's free. Once you create the login, like you just click the softwares, tools and softwares. Okay. And click the latest version. So I'm using Windows, so I'm choosing this Windows installer. If you are using Linux, you can choose this Linux installer. Okay. If you are using Mac OS, then choose this version. So click get latest. Click accept. And click OK. Okay. So I'm just downloading the software. So once the software is installed, you can unzip the software and you can install. Okay. So simultaneously, like uh, we have to download MinGW. So I just open the presentation. Just go for this msys2.org okay. and this MinGW. You just go to this website called msys2.org. In this website, uh, you just download this installer. Keep okay. So there are steps to install here. Like you just download the installer, run the installer, okay, go for the installation folder, okay, and you set up this process. Then here you can install the MinGW. So to download the so this is the builds MinGW 64 build okay you can download the latest version so msys2 has been downloaded so let me click this exe file and run this exe file let us install this setup file Click next. Okay, just go by the default. Click next. Click next. Okay, so the installation for MCS2 is completed. So click finish okay so you will get this shell okay so the next step is so you just follow the guidelines from this site msys2.org the next step is to type this command okay so just copy this command Press Y. So you have the steps on this page. Okay. So once you complete this, then you can get the version of GCC here.
Oh. I'm trying back again. Once the installation is done, you could get the GCC version here. Okay, you can find the GCC version here. So we have installed MSYS2, go to test and go for CMD. Like MSYS2. So it is in folder C. So this is the path. Just copy the path. Okay. So once you type, you will get this window. MSYS2 okay. This is for update Just type this command Just type Y. Okay, just type Y here. So once you complete this command, the next command is just copy copy this. Okay, copy this and paste this card.
have to choose three here okay choose three and press enter press y for, y for installation Okay, so now installation is done so you can copy the mc64 path this is for you have to give this in environmental variables and you should also mingiw64 okay it is here mingiw64.exe is also here so the next step is to set the path So just go for the environmental variables. Okay, click environmental variables here. Okay. So click edit okay so you will get the path here so click new and paste the path click okay okay so this is for mc64 and uh, you just go for mc64 bin okay you also copy this path and click edit new and paste it okay So once you set up this two path, click OK, click OK. okay. The next thing is we have to install the uh, STM32 cube IDE. So we have set up MinGW and this is the compiler. Uh, let us set up the uh, STM32 cube IDE. So uh, the cube ID has been downloaded here. So right click, extract, okay. So run this CXE file. You'll get like this. Click S. Yes. So click next click i agree okay i'll go by default click next click install
click next click finish okay so we have finished the installation of stm32 cube id so you could search for stm32 cube id Okay, you can choose the workspace, click launch. Okay, so the system 32 cube ID has been installed. Let us check for GCC. So to check for GCC, like you can type where gcc this will give you the gcc location okay so so gcc has been installed and the stm 3 cube id is also installed so thank you so much see you on the next session